We're here at Liverpool Street Station, joined by a London-based Zimbabwean transport operator, colloquially known in Zimbabwe as a windy. Uh, so we're joined here by Mr. Fastmore Ngube. Uh, Fastmore, uh, tell us, uh, you've been here in the UK for some time. What, what Ah, well, uh, Pelalapa in the UK, we don't have uh, the similar problems in the transport sector as you would have uh, Pela, pe, perhaps in maybe say Harare. Because here the trains, they use electricity, even the buses, then you never hear a case shortage. There's no there's no shortage in fuel. You don't wake up one morning, as a ranking, and your comb is not working because, uh, you know, fast more could not secure petrol for his combi. We don't have none of that here. Plus, it's very simple. You, we don't have Amal Tongman. Locals in Ara BTGS, I, I don't know, man. So it's it's very lucrative to be here. It's very lucrative. But you can find an exchange to Stanford Airport. Oh, so what you want to do, yeah, is um, you want to take a left, go straight down here, yeah? take a left, um, go down those stairs, and um, yeah, platform five. Right, Should what's, be about ten what's, minutes. Yeah. What's all this? It's a bit some bobs, mate. Bits and bobs. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's just uh, you know you people know where to go for information yeah so so, so you're saying sorry luck 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 creative yeah. what is it like it, it, it luck creative yeah you you mean luc lucrative luck luck creative luck creative it it creates money Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Faso. And it's been another crazy week where our travel blogger slash president continued traveling, Zanuki has found a way to personalize donations that weren't actually theirs, and the country finally got some good news. But first, in some well-deserved good news this week, the Warriors won something. We're not even sure what, but we're happy. Um, it's hooray, comrades. Say it with me slowly. Hooray! Not this hooray stuff. The Warriors beat Congo Brazzaville to qualify for AFCON 2019 in Egypt, and we are celebrating. Zimbabwe just needs to win something because we've been losing, Sha. Elections, cholera, shutdown, fuel queues, and then Cyclone die. Asaka, we needed to win something. To be honest, we would have been happy winning in Nodo against Malawi or an international drafts game against Mozambique. But we won something. It's like a bow. The best part was the headlines. News they gave us, Egypt, here we come. What next? Zimbabwe has inside knowledge about Afcon. Warriors to give opponents a hard life. It's fun playing with these names for once. Because normally, us Zimbabweans have just one nickname. Namo Ines. In honor of Cyclone Idai victims, ED declared two days of national mourning. And then on the second day, he flew to Angola. Akaipa, is it possible that our Emerson really wanted to be a travel blogger and thought the best way to do it was to become president? Those who are criticizing him, you are just jealous that he flies on nice jets and eats luxurious aeroplane food. Just like when he went to Abu Dhabi when Cyclone Idai hit, I'm sure the press will give us a great explanation of how much Angola is helping us with relief efforts. Maybe they'll send us some prawns and petu. But on the real, people are being hard on ED. I'm sure he said something and his entourage was like, good idea, your excellency. We'll declare two days of national mourning. And he was like, no comrades. I said, I've already been back in the country for two full days. Can I at least go to Angola tomorrow morning? It's also come to light that ED chartered a private plane from Dubai just so that he could fly from Harare to Blawayo. Comrade, that's like asking a via taxi to come from Rotito to take you from Kanan Highfields to Lusaka Highfields. Eh? Maybe that money could have gone to Cyclone Idai victims instead. I don't know. Maybe. Are there any other problems that you've had while being here in the UK as a, tr tr a transport operator, Windy? Uh, well, the people, they are still getting uh, customized to, to the... Yeah. Banging on the train just to let them know, hey, says Hambi, let's scat, says Fiki, but uh, no, uh, the Kadoma, mm. mm -hmm. there's no Kadoma on the, on the trains here, because if there's no Kadoma, that's one seat gone, <laughs> one less seat, and, and that becomes less lucrative, you know? Yeah. 
Lucrative, yes. Well, that was Fast Morgan Lube. Lucrative. It was Fast Morgan Lube here at uh, the Liverpool Street Station. Uh, back to you. Our video of the week has to be this. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs put out a whole video just to announce a Twitter handle. I guess they didn't realize they could simply announce it with a tweet on Twitter. Greetings to you all, Zimbabweans. As Zimbabwe's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, we believe in openness and transparency, which is true to the new dispensation. Zimbabwe is open for business mantra. We believe that image of our beloved country can only be enhanced through its citizens' participation in national discourse and projects. To every Zimbabwean across the globe, including our ambassadors based abroad, communication is key. Let me bring to your collective attention that as a ministry, we are making all efforts to embrace modern and effective ways of communication. And by this message, please be advised that we have opened social media platforms in pursuit of this endeavor. Trust Zanu PF to make Twitter sound old school. I mean, these dudes went ZBC on the social media ish. And that Twitter handle, MoFuzz. I've been telling people for a while, don't mess with these mofas. The government has continued its worrying clampdown on civic organizations. First, they suspended the license of Mashingo-based CSO Kotrad, who have since got the ban overturned by the High Court. Then, they arrested activist and journalist Zenzel Ndebele for possession of grenade-looking weapons, which turned out to be an old tear gas canister in his car, which turned out to be some bullshit. In a genius way of turning the tables, Comrade Zenzele has now released a canister clothing line. Order yours for $7 only. Now who's having the last laugh about tear gas? What a riot. Anyway, so, anyway, so how do you think Brexit now will affect your business? Hey, Brexit lay. It's very, it's very problematic because um, as it is right now, uh, other ministers, they are confirming they are in the discussions of uh, the EU sector 24, which has got uh, certain implications on the transport sector here. And uh, just the mere notion of trying to construct a, a hard border in places like uh, Northern Ireland, it's, it's stifling me. Because I was making a killing, Baba, with the, with, with the Eurostar. Mm. The Eurostar! From King's Cross, St. Pancras, uh, going through Europe. Oh, the French people, I was getting the French money. I was getting the Belgian money. I was getting the Netherlands money. But now, Auxella, you know, they've, they've, they've restricted all of that. So, ah, it's a headache, Baba. So, so, but, so, so you're worried about then the UK leaving the EU by uh, March 31st? Uh, it's not March 31st, it's March 29th. Yeah, yeah. So obviously this spells some um, a disaster. Uh, Ama implications that are going to very be very difficult stipulations. And you're worried specifically about uh, section 49, is it? It's called Article 50. You the, the invocation of Article 50. The D Day was to be in March. Right. right. The victims of Cyclone Idai in Zimbabwe still need as much support as you can give. So lend a hand. Drop off some goods or donate some money. The solidarity shown by you, the citizens, continues to inspire me. Thanks for joining us on the week. Follow Magama TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week. Thank you. I have to get on my private jet now. Futaki.